Get ready to match the stars. Scoey Mitchell, Red Summers, Charles Nelson Riley, Bonnie Franklin, Richard Dawson, and Patty Doyle. As we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game 76. And now, here's the star of Match Game 76, Gene Ryder. and friends. Are you all ready? Yeah. Ready. Let's see now. I just got to remember uh, Bonnie Franklin comes to us from One Day at a Time on CBS Tuesday nights, right? Oh, well and she's remembered. the star. She's a star. What Amen. do you think of them apples there? <laughs> They're all stars in my eyes. Oh, so you got bad eyes. Get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get on with it. Say hello to Bill Dotson and Linda Griffiths. Wild applause. Charles, put your pipe down the floor. Thank you. Bill's the current champ. He's won $700. He's got two games under his belt. He's being challenged by Linda. We're going to start at the beginning of round two. And as you can see, they did rotten in round one. It's zero to zero. Round two coming up may be better. Who knows? Come back. Hello. Here we are. Push this button down. Reveal our second and final round questions. A and B, and that means Linda has a choice. Oh, well, let me have B again. B again? <laughs> B again. Shall I be again? Hello, darling. Hello. Jackie the comic said. <laughs> he said, I just performed at the old people's convention and they loved me. At the end of my act, 10,000 old people gave me a blanking ovation. <laughs> Got it. I'll say it again. Got it. At the end of my act, 10,000 old people gave me a blanking ovation. Did you hear that, Linda? I got it. This is Jackie the comic said, I just performed at the old people's convention and they loved me. I got okay. it. I'm finished. You're I'm finished. finished. Now, you're a comic. This ought to be very easy for you. Never had an ovation. You never had an ovation? Oh, I'm really? Can't you tell from the way he does this show that he wasn't that much better in nightclubs? <laughs> in the where? In the I just performed at the home. old people's convention, and they loved me. At the oh, end God. of my act, 10,000 old people gave me a blanking ovation. Try the five. Mm. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. He wrote something. He wrote something at last. Linda Griffiths. Jackie the comic says, I wrote it down for a I just said it was at the old people convention. I said, and at the end of my performance, there are 10,000 people coming out for a time. What do you think of that? Not What's your much. answer? <laughs> <laughs> at the end of my act, 10,000 old people gave me a blanking ovation. Do you understand this? I understand it. See, it's the old people there. Shaking. I can't think of anything. You can't think. A Sh shaking. Oh, you know, yeah. Shaking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well. All right, she said a shaking ovation. Uh, I, I, yeah, go ahead. Go, no, sorry. go ahead. You go. No, I said I, I, I didn't mean no. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're the star. No, go no, ahead. but said no, no, no. I know you. No, it's I your day. You're no. Okay. I said a pace making ovation. A pace making ovation shows a lot of imagination. Thank you very much. Thank you. Don't stop! Don't stop! Thank you. See, you said you never got an ovation, you lovely people. You did it for him. Thank you very I much. Thank you. Thank now you. you. It shows a lot of imagination, but not very much smarts. Right. <laughs> I will give the definitive answer. What is that? It. They gave him a sitting ovation. Right. That is very perceptive of this studio audience because um, that is true. the definitive answer. If Charles. you're right, you get a bigger hand, huh? <laughs> That's it. Yeah. I will give the definitive answer. Stolen. A sitting ovation. <laughs> I heard that someplace. <laughs> Linda Griffiths is looking for the answer. 10,000 old people gave me a shaking ovation. She's I'm, not very happy with her answer, but how about you? Are you happy with I'm yours? I'm going to give you the definitive answer. A sitting ovation. Okay, that seems to be the answer. Now you, do you have the definitive answer? I, I did when I came in. <laughs> <laughs> um, Don't look Would you accept it. a dollar instead? Okay. 
All right. No, these were darling old people. Darling old and people. And he was terrible. Yes. Oh, he was a bad comic. Well, does he sound like a good comic just the way you did it? They love me, he says. They love well, me. Well, of course. They Comics all always lie. say that, don't they? Right. Yes. yes the old devils gave him a lying ovation. A lying man. Don't now, bother to get up for this one. Okay. <laughs> a sitting old lady. Well, well, yeah. well, that's the definitive answer. So, Linda Griffiths. Zip. Bill. Gonna win your third game by default. Maybe. <laughs> All you need is one. Don't disappoint us now. Okay. Let's go, we will do hey, that. Hey, poor Isaac Newton. Oh, hurry. Oh. What While you? Sir Isaac Newton was sitting under the tree waiting for the apple to fall, uh -huh. a blank dropped on his head. <laughs> oh. Oh. Isaac Newton, what? What? Ah. Isaac Newton. While Sir Have Isaac... you heard Gladys Knight's recording of this theme? No. <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> the only record the pips walked out of. <laughs> While Sir Isaac was sitting under the tree waiting for the apple to fall, a blank dropped on his head. Okay. Isaac Newton formulated the laws of gravity. He did not. He discovered them. He formulated them. No, they were already formed. No. He explicitly stated the laws of gravity. In other words, you can't fall off a building unless Isaac says so. That's right. <laughs> now, they're all set. While I walk over here, Patty will finish her question and put it in the slot. She's ready. Bing. Bill Dotson. Poor Isaac Newton. While Sir Isaac was sitting under the tree waiting for the apple to fall, a blank dropped on his head. Brick. A what? Brick. Bad Bill. This guy is sitting under a tree. I wanted to say branch, but you know. Hmm. I just said brick. You just said brick, huh? Because I'm a dummy, you know. You're a dummy? <laughs> Evidently. How can you be a dummy? You won $700 already. This game Makes may me have a been a spoilless dummy, tie you know. and embarrass the heck out of us. Go right to the time well, You know, by the laws of chance, you should be in Saudi Arabia, Arabia three or four months ago with the way your answers have been coming out. <laughs> I'm astounded, Bill. <laughs> Let's see if we get a brick over here from one of our celebrities. Well, Coley? listen, don't knock it. Look who's, wait, who you're picking on. Oh, yet. yeah, maybe. One never knows. I think we should just dispense with this and go straight to the tiebreaker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, we got to go through the routine. Show and tell everybody one at a time in turn. I had a million things run through my mind, sitting under trees. Yes. You know, yeah. dropping on you and stuff like right. that. And I just didn't think they were apropos. So you wrote? I said peach. A peach. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Well, that's not bad. It ain't the greatest answer, but it'll keep me working. <laughs> Now, what'd you say? <laughs> In Saudi Arabia. <laughs> what do you say, Greg? I think that runs a close second to, to Brick. And has it ever occurred to anybody that maybe he's just being a gentleman? Maybe. Not dumb at all. I said, a lump of bird doo doo. <laughs> Brett was also being a gentleman. <laughs> They're with you, Brett. They're Those are my you. people. Yes, right. What do you say? Well, it was early in the morning and not late in the day, so it was just one bird joke. <laughs> a bird joke. Okay. <laughs> you know, I can't believe this is happening to us on this show that we're going to end up in a scoreless tie, but it looks that way, doesn't it? Yes. Okay, show us your dumb answer. Because I, uh, uh, okay, here a bird. A bird. Well, yeah. that's not too bad. Well, no, the doo-doo wasn't there. I think that's right. wrong. I have a question for you. You have a question for me, yes. Wrong what is the opposite of don't, don't? Don't, don't. The opposite of don't, don't. The opposite of don't. Do do right. Man is one of the Okay. While waiting for the apple to fall, a blank dropped on his head, and this dingbat said, <laughs> "Brick." 
I heard him. Yes. Uh, well, this was the source of all that do. Mm -hmm. A badly brought up pigeon. <laughs> a badly brought up pigeon. Okay. Well. <laughs> nothing to nothing, huh? Here we are, working and slaving and doing the best we can for you, and you give us a zip to zip tie. Well, we'll figure out what to do after these messages for you. All right. Now, we wipe the slate clean. <laughs> Get rid of all these big numbers here. And push the button, and lo and behold, reveal one tie-breaking question for each. And with our luck, this is going to end up in a tie. <laughs> but we're going to try it anyway. Linda, you want A or B? I'm going to stick with B. I don't gonna know stick why. With B. You don't know why. So well. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the Sheik said, uh -huh. yes. he said, having 100 wives is terrific. What's terrible is having only one blank. <laughs> Oh, right. My. Good. Having 100 wives is terrific. What's terrible is having only one blank. <laughs> All right, the upper tier is ready. And now Bonnie is ready, so we'll call on Linda Griffiths. Everybody ready? Right. The Sheik said, having 100 wives is terrific. What's terrible is having only one blank. Bed. One bed. <laughs> By Jove, she's got it. I think she's no. got it. I thought of bed. Yes. <laughs> Wait, if you were up now. here... Give the kid a chance. I thought of bed, but yeah. based on the answers we've been getting, I was trying to guess what they were going to say. Oh. <laughs> so you came up with some weirdo. He, I, I never believed that chic stuff and the hundred wives and stuff in town. Because Superman wouldn't bother with Lois Lane, remember? Right. Uh, yeah. Uh, what was bad was just having one helper. One helper. Oh. I thought he was going to say Rick. <laughs> <laughs> now you, my dear. Bed occurred also to me. A a, a but since extra. it was such a good answer, you didn't think they'd say it. So. But due, well, due to their past history, I thought she probably said he was very busy. Yeah. With, she, he, with political matters. With all those wives, they only had one baby. One baby. No Isn't time. Right. Yes. Yeah, sweet. Charles. I Can said. You know my answer? No. <laughs> <laughs> I said one chic John. <laughs> one chic John. So far, Linda, we don't have a bed. The audience loved your answer. But you know, I think you people, you did it to yourselves. You kept giving such weird answers earlier. They, they're coming up with the weirdos now trying to match you. <laughs> Barney, give us your weirdo. Okay, here it is. He only had one life to give, see? One life to give, yes. Boo, don't right. boo me. I can't take booze. I don't know how to deal with it. She's a star, remember? No, no, stop that. Yeah. <laughs> what She's was that? never gotten used to it. <laughs> What'd you say, Bonnie? <laughs> would you repeat that? What did I say? <laughs> All right, Richard, it's your turn. Yeah, see, one bed wouldn't bother him, darling. He just called them in. What? Number 98, you just call them in. You're like a supermarket. You take a number and you go visit them. <laughs> but he would be so upset if it was 100 women and... One bathroom. He could never get to the... Right. Wash his hands. That's right. Clean his toothy peg. That's anything like that. Devil. What's... Uh, having 100 wives is terrific. What's terrible is having only one bed, according to Linda. Now, what about according to you? A reprise of bathroom. A reprise of bathroom. So, Linda, here we are. We're on our way again to another scoreless tie, aren't we? Stump the stars. Okay. Well, we'll find out what Bill does with his question in a moment or so. But right now, this... Today's consolation prizes are an assortment of Sarah Coventry jewelry that you buy from a friend at home. Stretch your wardrobe with the many looks of Sarah Coventry fashion jewelry. And bath towels and Stay Puft Pink fabric softener leaves your washable soft and fresh and towels more absorbent. Stay Puft Pink soft and absorbent. 
A new pulsating water massage from Polonex features four shower heads in one, lets you dial how you want to feel, and stalls easily in minutes. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty blank. But it won't happen to you if you watch Match Game 76 when it continues in a minute. I saw you. You came in. You came. I saw that. I'm, I'm ready for you. Okay, now we're in a tiebreaker here. <laughs> Linda had her question and scored zero. Cipher, as we say. Now, Bill, this is all yours. One is all you need to win. Hey, you know, Tarzan didn't have a flag, so when he marched in the jungle parade, he waved a star-spangled blank. Now, that's a shoe in there. My God's go even, God. Okay. Now, you're finished. I'm getting this game over with. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna match. That's right. right. This, okay. I'm getting this game over with. All right. What are you going on? Nobody has to write but me. Okay. Okay. She's finished, and we're waiting for Charles. Mm. How unusual. Yes, <laughs> me <laughs> And we'll walk over here. Now, if it is over. When Bill gives his answer, I would like the rest of you to hold your answers up just uh, to see what you did here. Bill, Tarzan didn't have a flag, so when he marched in the jungle parade, he waved a star-spangled... Loincloth. Loincloth. <laughs> you really are a bunch of freaks, aren't you? Okay, Why he didn't said. Why you say brick? <laughs> <laughs> Thought he's got a star-spangled brick up there. All right, Scoey. Jane. Yes, it is indeed my pleasure to say loin cloth. Lo Down. Now you stand up and you walk down. That's right, Bill. Walk right down here like you did before. Okay, there's all Bill Dotson again. Hang around now, Bill. Now, Linda, it was a pleasure to meet you, and we've got some gifts for you, together with our thanks for being here on Match Game 76. Linda Griffiths, goodbye. Now, Bill, you just have picked up another $100. Gives you a total of $800, which is... Not bad for three games. <laughs> and you're going to try for over 5,000 now. Again. Now let's stand here in the crack here, in the rug here. That's, oh, okay. it, it makes it easier for everybody around. So you see that, that where the rug is ripped there? Mm -hmm. That's where you stand. You got, right. you got to stand right there. Okay. We polled a, a recent studio audience, and we got their best response to this. Blank candy. Now, the answer that that bunch gave most often is worth a $500 bill to you if you match it. Now, if you match the answer that they gave second most frequently, you get 250 and the third one gets you $100. Now, whom do you call on over here? Richard. Cotton candy. Cotton candy. Right. Scoey. Scoey, have you got one? Huh? Yes. What, me? Yes, blank candy. Something that I would relate to. What's that? Chocolate candy. Chocolate candy. Okay. Bonnie. Bonnie, do you have one? Sugar. Sugar candy. Okay. Now you've got chocolate candy, sugar candy. Yes, Patty, you have a question. Could we go for a fourth one? <laughs> well, no, three is what we usually oh. do. Have you got a terrific one? Yeah. Brick. <laughs> No, I don't think it'll work, then. Chocolate, <laughs> sugar, and cotton are the three they've given you, but you may have one. <laughs> no, I doubt cotton. that. Cotton candy is what he wants. <laughs> Yay! All right, that's the answer, Richard Jager. Let's find if cotton candy's up there, and if so, where? Let's begin down at the bottom and reveal the $100 response. Sugar candy. Who gave booed. you that one? Bonnie gave you that one. They booed her when she said, right. now apologize and give yeah. her a nice one. That was very that was good and you booed her. <laughs> Let's see if cotton candy is under the $250 number. Rock candy. Patty. Well done. That's right. Sure, that was close. That's right. Brick, so brick yeah, and rock. Rock candy, sure. <laughs> well, brick and rock, it's about the same thing. Close. All right, here's your last chance, Bill, to pick up a little cotton candy. May we see the $500 response? 
Yes, you got it. Congratulations. And a boy. Let's win it, okay? I'm okay. sick of this, Bill. <laughs> now, Bill, here is your third chance to win the $5,000. Now, we can't put it in your pocket. You've got to do a little work yourself. You've got to match one celebrity exactly. It's time to choose one. Richard. Okay, Richard, you get ready to write. Just swing around there and face me so you can't see the motion of his arm and the pen and all that. And here it is. It's worth $5,000. Now, concentrate on what his thoughts are going through his head now as he writes his response to this. Blank of fortune. Blank of fortune. Okay, Bill. Richard's written his answer. Now we need an answer from you which you think will match his. Get your ESP going now. Blank of fortune. Wheel. Think he's right? The audience thinks you chose the right one. All right, Richard. He says it'll match you for $5,000. i am in shock. Why? <laughs> Does the word brick of fortune mean anything? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I don't torment him. I'm not torment. I don't know how to explain this. We match. <laughs> Thank you all. Gene Rayburn here. Join us next time for Match Game 76. Goodbye. This is Johnny Olson speaking for Match Game 76. A Mark Goodson, Bill Tubman production. Stay tuned for Tattletales next over most of these CBS stations.